Is our meat? <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> you know, like for me, communication is such a powerful tool. Specifically when both parties are at least willing to communicate. communicate. Like Try. you heard this about me, understand how you can be pissed, just hear my side yeah. of the story yeah. as well. And with that, just tying back to gender-based violence. I always say, look where the intention came from. So someone said, oh, you put on weight. Maybe you were very thin, so this is very good and it's a healthy thing. Maybe they're worried about you. Look at where the intention came from and then react to it from there. Not necessarily it could be a good criticism. Like, it's not the inspiration you? just to like, make motivate you. Say, hey, this lockdown been long, but yeah, you know. Something that I say amongst all my friends is that when we're doing a fight, I always say, it's not the way you throw the punch, it's the way the punch lands. Yes. Um, and sometimes with that, um, maybe the punch wasn't thrown yeah. that way, it just landed that way, yeah. um, and then take that into account. Maybe yeah. it, it was thrown, it landed exactly the way it was thrown, and you need to take that up too. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we, we diverge, we're not talking about the person who's now, the third party who's informed yeah. you. If Kiki, if I found out Kiki said something about me, um, you approach her first. And you gotta say, yeah. funny story, heard XYZ. True, not true, before we, let's just play that game, you know, I don't know if you guys ever played that 17, you know, Seventeen magazine have had that like yeah. <laughs> question. You started at the bubble at the top, so let's say yeah. I heard this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I heard this. Is it yes or it's no? You said this yes or no? I get that they need the, the platform to speak up, and we need to understand the symptoms yeah. behind the cause. But at this point, I think instead of timing. It, yeah, timing. I think there's 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 more there's more to be done with with women in this in the situation. I just feel I'll reply to that. Yeah. Um, pretty much. Nikki, I agree men do go through their own form of domestic violence. They also sure. have their suicide, da -da, men are raped as well, men are abused, men are expected to do this. 100% there should be workshops and stuff for men, go for it, 100% do it. Yeah. But I think we are not at the stage yet that women should say, shame, I'm sorry yeah. for your wife. How can exactly. you say? Every man right now knows hitting is wrong. It's not that men aren't, but they, we keep hearing teach men not to rape, teach men not to hit women. Mm -hmm. They know this. We're yeah. dealing with people that don't care. Can I, sorry, tell me if I'm wrong, but like, oh, clarify oh, that I think what he could potentially have meant was have a discussion, do a research-based thing with the aggressor, be that a, ma a man or a woman, um, having raped a man or a woman, mm -hmm. um, to, 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 to discover a pattern and to see, so it, it's more like a research-based thing, to see, listen, this initiates that, that's cue for that, that's a habit loop doing that, um, to potential to I think so too. Why are you not that's a woman being raped and killed. Why why we hear such a man? Yeah. But we know what triggers them. We know how why they behave the way that they behave. I think it comes back to the conversation of yesterday, which is what those kind of efforts are where the efforts. Yeah. We're done with awareness now. What is yeah. the solution? How do we yeah. exercise this? How yes. do we execute that? Because the research has been done. The awareness has been raised. Yeah. Now how do we execute that? And I think that's where... No, it, I mean, I mean, camps like these in transformation camps are the first step. But that's the big question mark in society going forward. Is how we have these awareness things. We have done the research. Now what? Yeah, let, let me just elaborate on where I was leading towards. Yeah. I'm glad that it struck a nerve. Because it also really shows like... Men know that this is wrong. From that perspective, understand. That's not what I was trying to obviously put light on. That's what I was trying to say. If you listen to what these men have to say, and, and again, when you listen, it doesn't mean you're trying to justify. Please don't misunderstand that. Yeah. That's not what I was going to do. Not, not trying to justify. You listen, and then you look at a pattern. And if the pattern is no, she did A, B, C, and D. We're like, okay, cute. We take that A, B, C, and D. We take, go to women. Remember, remember I said, with GBV, it's not just what men do. There's a lot that women can do to prevent themselves from being in a position to be with a man who will do that. Yes. That's exactly what I mentioned yesterday. Women have also, a lot of women have lost track of what is too much. Mm. Only when it gets physical are they like, oh, this, that, 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 that. So 
hearing what they say triggered them, taking a lot of what you can use, going to work, like, hey, look, A, B, C, and D, if you keep yourself out of these lines, this apparently is what triggers these men, this is what we can do to prevent that from happening. Not to say taking the focus make, and giving the men attention. It doesn't make attention. what they did right. No, it doesn't make it's not to justify. Women, yeah. uh, like women reacted wrong towards the men. It's just to help like people that has never been in that situation. Say, if this happens and you don't stand up for yourself, you need to know this This will not yeah. necessarily... Or basically you get out early out. enough. Don't let it get yes. to that level. So, 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 so it's like identify the warning signs. Yes. 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 But then so, you can pick up like the early yeah. signs of that he's yeah. going to be in And that, sorry, out. sorry. And that you won't get predominantly from the one who's been yeah. attacked. That you'll get from the aggressor. But for yes. your... So, so identify A, B, and C. Yes. So if I know about A, B, and C for my own yes. preservation and my own, I'm going to probably avoid that. Yes. But identifying A, B, and C doesn't make it my responsibility to stay away from A, B, and C. How have you been finding your experience here at the GPT camp? Nice, very yeah. inviting, yes. um, very open, um, and obviously very a lot to learn. Yeah. A lot to learn. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the important thing about learning something new, someone being able if someone has something to show you or teach you, hmm. then they have to create the space for that. Yes. And I'm definitely um, experiencing that as well. And what drew you? Well, how do you find out about the sessions? Um, so I do jujitsu. Oh, um, yes. Okay. Yes. So yeah. I know Katarina um, uh, through the jujitsu, and she advertised in okay. one of our groups. And and do you have any experience with gender-based violence? I don't. Personally, I don't. Oh, do you know any people who have experienced it? Around? I know some people. Yeah. I know some people. Yeah. Um. I think that's that's one of the things that I when it comes to the practical side of how to protect yourself, um, I'm very for it as well. When it comes to like one of the discussions we had yeah. where emotions are involved, mm -hmm. um, I do prefer to step back because I haven't been in the position before. I've been fortunate enough that it hasn't happened to me before, yes. um, and I can't. I don't want to say that you should have acted like that, you yes. should have acted like that, or you should be feeling this right now, or, or you should be over this by now. Yes. Um, it was two, three years ago if something happened to you. Um, so I would never make a comment like that. Um, so I'm fortunate that it hasn't happened to me before. Yeah. yeah. It's actually interesting because you bring up a very valid point that gender-based violence is not just something men need to be educated about. Women also yeah. need to be educated about other women's experiences. Absolutely. And how to react Absolutely. to them. Yes. No, and how did it feel interacting with the other woman here? Um, did you guys share stories? Or anything? They did. Yeah. They, some some shared stories. Um, those who didn't share stories, um, definitely, you could pick up something happened. You could pick up that it's sensitive. Yes. Um, and it, it gives you a bit more of an understanding yes. into the person. Yes. Um, but also into the gender based violence. Why it's really important to. I started jiu-jitsu because I really, really liked it. Yes. Um, it was something that resonated with me. I was never, growing up, I was never a petite, small girl. Yeah. And that's something that I, that I felt happy about, about myself. Yeah. Um, I always happened to be stronger than other women, yes. um, especially in school. Um, I used to be equally strong as guys. And I thought that was something to be ashamed of, that yeah. I wasn't feminine enough. Yeah. So that's why jiu-jitsu was something that really resonated with me. You can, so I guess you can kind of relate to the pressure that this weekend kind of posed for yes. the transformation camp in the future. Yes. Which is that if you can have a bad experience as this weekend, you may not come back and you may not learn this valuable lesson. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And do you think it was valuable? I think, think it was time? very valuable. I think there were a lot of, I think this, to me, um, when things get a little bit heated or when things get a little bit scratchy mm -hmm. and you see someone there's something someone said something yeah. and something is scratching mm -hmm. i think it's it's always an opportunity yes. it's always opportunity for improvement because Octo october there's another camp november there's another camp exactly. next year there's another camp exactly. um, um always ways for improvement mm -hmm. so definitely think that this weekend um, sh um, shed light yeah. on some on some some spots yeah. that could be improved, but I, d I absolutely definitely think that this was a, a good introduction yes. to a way to build up. And also, just I want to ask you personally, since you have experience with jiu jitsu, mm -hmm. how did you find the training here? Was it a little too light for you? Or was it was it, it engaging was for you as well? Yeah. It was engaging. Yeah. Um, uh, when it comes to, I mean, we didn't do just jujitsu. Yeah. We didn't just do boxing, mm -hmm. and and the and what races is as well. Mm -hmm. 
jiu-jitsu and self-defense is not the same. Yes. Like I can I can do jiu-jitsu and I probably will be able to handle myself well against someone in the street. Yeah. But I don't have experience with someone that has a knife. Yes. I don't have experience with someone that has a gun. Yes. I don't have experience with someone. Um, what, when I started jiu-jitsu, I also started a bit of MMA. Yes. Um, and just from that, I got a knee injury, so I unfortunately had to stop that. Yeah. Um, but I, I, had, I got some experience from doing a little bit of sparring and boxing with the guys, and I have been hit in my face yeah. in sparring, in yes. training. Yes. Um, I have never, I've never felt the pressure of having to defend myself while being attacked. Yes. I've never actually been hit in my face yes. full steam from a guy without unexpected. Blood. Unexpected. Yes. Um, it's completely different. Yes. That's why something as simple as the, this is the exact position that you get into just you just turn your face and bite the person. Yeah. It's mind blowing. Yes. It's like because that, that's not what you do in jiu jitsu. Yes. Um, and I and I think it's very valuable to know. Yes. Um, in when your um, the things that you fall back on, mm. um, your base that you build up, mm. that's what you're gonna do in a situation where you don't have time to think. Yes. So with jiu jitsu, um when I don't have time to think about something and someone slams into the ground, I'm going to go to God. This yeah. is what I'm going to do. Yes. But I don't think, oh, I'll bite him. Yes. I'm not saying that I won't be able to do something outside the rules of jiu-jitsu when I'm in a street fight because there will be survival and yeah. adrenaline and everything. Yes. Um, again, it's something that you have to practice. you kind of training your instincts. Yes, yes exactly. Yes. So yes. that when I'm in a situation where I don't have time to think about what to do, my inst- I fall back on what I already have. Exactly. Or on the habits that I have, the practice that I have, the experience that I already have. It's already there. I don't have to think about it. Yes. yes. Is that is that what you're saying you take back from this experience? Yes, absolutely. Yes. There there are things that, that we did here yes. that are very valuable in the street, in yes. real life, yes. that we don't necessarily do in boxing or or MMA or Jiu Jitsu. I'm not sure if you were that or this teaches Zanadano, but I feel yes. like that really incorporates the philosophy yes. of what Zanadano is about. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much big for pleasure. sitting with us. Yeah. It's a big it was very informative actually for awesome. me as well. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. yeah. Jeez, you really yeah. 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 said be honest. I mean like you really I mean like Chris is the manifesto for the whole thing. As a guy. So what were your expectations coming in? Um, my expectations were to learn some more self defense techniques. Also get back into fitness because lockdown. <laughs> yeah. And then um, also just to meet other women who had like similar interests and also wanted to like learn about self defense and see how they can change the world basically. There was another interviewer here who said that um, her name was Jay and she said that your exercises were quite rigorous during the program. <laughs> Extremely <laughs> good. The first day we got up at like, um, that was at half past four in the morning to leave at five. And it was hectic running and stuff. Yeah. And it's hard work, but you feel good afterwards. And the diet? The diet, um, it was good. I've actually start, stopped eating meat myself. Mm. So now the whole, um, it's, I've learned more about things that I can eat. Yeah. Mm. Very good food. Nice. And how did that affect your performance? Do you think? I think the diet's actually been good because I mean, you don't have in a short period of time. Yeah. But I think it's definitely when you, we didn't eat like a lot of starch and stuff, so it's definitely easier and you're more energetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, um, I was just wondering, but you haven't actually had any experience with GDV, but I was wondering about how you felt being taught by a man about these sort of very sensitive topics to women. Um, I think it would be difficult sometimes because sometimes I think men don't understand exactly mm. but then I think like Orestes especially he's open to understanding like you can explain and he learns mm. like from what you said I think it is good that it's a man getting involved and wants to change the world because yes. I mean you could just be like it's not my problem yeah but he's not he openly says I see an issue and I want to try fix it yes and it, it, this camp was just for women right yeah but there was one that was men and women um, I think it's coming up next. That's week. coming up next, okay. And so you actually had, and there was another woman that was coaching you guys as well, right? Kiki? Yeah, Kiki. Okay. And how was it like working with her? Oh, I love her. She's oh, so nice. sweet. And nice. oh, you can see she loves what she does. Yeah. So I actually hope to one day go to her gym as well just to check out. Oh, nice. Where's her gym? Just for I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm like somewhere. laughs> Anyways, thank you so much. What drew you to this, this transformation camp? I was actually not aware of the transformation camp yeah. until Lilani um, posted in the comment section, yeah. my, well, in the draw. Mm. And then when she posted my name, I was like, well, this looks interesting. Okay, let's go in, let's go check what it stands for, what women like me actually 
wants to teach people. Yeah. And I know there's everybody's talking about there's so much awareness, but I wasn't aware. I was yeah. I, I was aware of um, gender based violence and that it's a problem, but I wasn't aware that there were campaigns that were actually teaching to empower women. Yes. So when I actually got the chance to come here, I was very excited. I didn't know. I didn't know much. Like I didn't even know when we started with the self-defense classes. I thought like I'm okay. I, I can see when somebody's coming and then I can run away. Yeah. But when they actually the first time they actually took hold of me, I was so shocked. I, I was like, never in my life has anybody touched me like that yes. or thrown me around or anything. So just being aware of, well, you know what? I can actually stand up for myself. I can yes. actually throw a punch because I've never even hit anybody ever. Yes. Yeah. Even doing sports, like people say no empowering and um, sending your daughters to have a contact sport like hockey or netball helps yes. them with but but it doesn't yes. like these sports or these techniques we've learned here really improved how i see myself as being capable yes. of protecting myself so i was i was very very enlightened and happy about the whole experience even though i'm very stiff and sore but I'm, i feel very empowered <laughs> i just think it's interesting because people always um, assume that you have to have had exp like a terrible experience of gender-based violence but the fear of it is enough it's that crippling is, enough it, as well. it, it really is it yeah. really really is so mm -hmm. just being aware that it happens to other women yeah. and not just that it's like i hope and I, I really pray that nobody goes through that yeah but knowing that i have the keys to help m myself, yeah. I can help others as well. Yes. So I can go and speak to my friends and make them more aware of how they can help themselves being in those relationships and also being aware when you can actually see those key things to look for when it starts. And of course, in self-defense, walking around, mm -hmm. are we aware of our surroundings? So yes. I really, really did like what, how the setup was, the people here and how we were really empowered as women. So. And what about the training? Oh, I was, yeah. I was, I, I, when I came here and I saw everybody was already wearing their, their, their tackies and they're ready, ready to run. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is, this is going to happen. Yeah. So I was like a bit, like yeah. I was quite a bit anxious actually, because yeah. I have trained before, but not necessarily, that wasn't the mindset I came here. But when we started, I enjoyed every moment. Waking up at five o'clock to yeah. start running, it was, you don't think you can do that, but yes. being a, Pushing each other. Up at five, we woke up at five to yeah. go and run. Yeah. It was hectic, but when you yeah. finish that, you feel so powerful. And everybody yes. was at their own place. It's not about fitness. It's about having a goal and pushing towards it, and having these amazing yes. women like just supporting each other. So yes. I really like that. Yes. Yeah. But but it was it was tough. It's tougher. And we sweat. You know, also there's this assumption. You know, whenever I see these health videos or these blogs, you think. I have to look a certain way yes. to be able to achieve a certain thing. Yes. You know, I remember always walking into the gym and thinking, I don't look like half of the people in this so why gym. It's like, why am I even here? Exactly. Like, and only when I get to this point can I, you know, then I just realized you, you really cannot see what a body is capable of from the outside. That's the thing. And yeah. you have to actually set a goal and start walking towards it. Exactly. To start somewhere. Like the yes. first step is really the most important. And yes. actually that's what I, that I, that's what I'm going to take away from, from this camp specifically. Yes. Like, all those self defense things, they're great, but really knowing that, you know what? I, I actually don't know what I can achieve because I've yes. never thought about it. Yes. But being able and I've never like, tried. And I've never tried. And now because of this, I can go and I can try and I can be better. And that's yes. great. Yeah. And then how did you feel about the diet? The diet, I actually am quite close to the diet. Yes. Not specifically, I'll eat meat like once a month, but yeah. I don't buy meat specifically. Yeah. So now I like the diet a lot. Yeah. I do have a close friend, Alani. She also is vegetarian. So knowing that it really improves and hearing about the alkaline diet, yes. and like just how they explained it was extraordinary. So yes. I really do think that is something that I'm moving forward, I will actually implement because I have, I'm very close on already not doing dairy, I'm already not doing meat that much, I think it's... And how did it affect your performance? Actually, there wasn't a specific effect because the fruits actually do give you that energy boost. You yes. think, no, I need my protein, I need to be strong, I need my starch, I need to go and run a mile, but the fruits and things have that in that what yes. you need. So exactly. I actually felt like energized and ready to go with like whatever they gave us, so I was happy. And would you recommend this for somebody else? Definitely. Will you be coming back? To the, I, to if I had the yes opportunity, I will definitely come back and I will bring friends. It was great. This whole place also, the, the venue was very um, adequate to what they were doing here. So oh, I yes. think it really integrated the whole camp very nicely. Being yes. able to walk around, being able to be in the nature. Yes. Just like cut off from 
where you come from and just be able to be open enough to learn. So that helps a lot. So definitely, I will recommend this camp. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys have a wonderful day. Yeah, you too. What's that? Just to bunch, like a bunch oh, of lights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there was a lot of physical. It was a lot more than my GPS was like, are you okay? Can you send help? <laughs> and it was way more than I've done. I felt muscles that I didn't know I had. Uh, not only that, it was uh, the techniques we learned were very different. Yeah. Uh, very more suitable to literally all women. Yes. And on top of that, being taught by a man, it seems like a juxtaposition. Yeah. But there was uh, another lady running the camp with him, yes. uh, we call her Kiki, which helped to keep a balance. But the way he explained it to us, um, he said, come in with an open mind. And the way he did it was very respectful. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, what he showed us was very important. And uh, just the discussions we had around the table about stereotypes, roles, what's going on, what are the triggers. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a, such a heated debate yesterday because uh, as some women did say, we, you mean so well and you're such a champion you are, but you have to understand we will only see it from a woman's point of view. Yes. And he also was like, I think he also learned that sometimes, you know, you can't transform uh, generations of hurt into a weekend. Yes. Camp. yes. And it, it made us all, that talk made us all so much more stronger. Did you have like a period where you guys were sharing stories into it? Yes, and yeah. to respect other people's privacy and if they say anything. What really amazed me with there were some people that you had never said were a victim. Yeah. They refused to be a victim. Yes. There were some people that nothing bad has ever happened to them. Yeah. And they said it actually scared them that there was so much possibility out there. Yes. And there's some people who have been through so much and you could see the hurt and anger in their eyes but they weren't ready to talk about it. Yeah. And others, you could already see they had confidence. Mm. But, mm. And uh, there was a, such a heated debate yesterday because uh, as some women did say, we, you mean so well and you're such a champion you are, but you have to understand we will only see it from a woman's point of view. Yes. And he also was like, I think he also learned that sometimes, you know, you can't transform uh, generations of hurt into a weekend Yes. Camp. Yes. And it made us all, that talk made us all so much more stronger. Did you have like a period where you guys were sharing stories into it? Yes, and yeah. to respect other people's privacy and if they say anything, what really amazed me with them were some people that you had never said were a victim. Yeah. They refused to be a victim. Yes. There were some people that nothing bad has ever happened to them. Yeah. And they said it actually, there's some people who have been through so much and you could see the hurt and anger in their eyes but they weren't ready to talk about it. Yeah. And others, you could already see they had confidence, mm. but now they had skills and confidence. Yes. And and I know that you guys had a very particular diet, right? Yes. So the diet was very interesting, something I, um, you know, uh, have never experienced before. Mm. So we were told just beforehand, try to cut out uh, sugar, um, artificial sugars. Yes. But I drank a lot of Coke Zero. So very difficult, that. right? Very difficult. Yeah. Uh, and milk. And uh, my fiance is a massive milk drink, he drinks like a litre a day, so <laughs> it's quite a big problem. So I try that, and what amazed me, what we've always been taught in films and diet magazines and things like that is when you're doing a lot of exercise, you need a lot of food and energy. And you see all these diets with, and I think it's not feasible for most people, uh, on that it's got to be salmon and turkey and this and that. Yes. There was no meat no milk it was literally morning was after a big workout yeah. was oats yes. and in we had a chickpea stew yes. and we're gonna have a soup later and we had some rice and veggies yeah. these simple no sauces no added sauces and curries and things like that it was food in its most almost purest form basically boiled yeah and it filled us up, it gave us energy for a lot, we were running up hills, we were carrying heavy five kilo bags, we were sprinting and push-ups and all these sort of things oh. and we never once felt dizzy or faint or like right. we weren't fueled yeah. and it's amazing, we always, people tend to snack throughout the day, yeah. we did all, we had, we were up and out at like 10 to 5, yeah. so most people were awake at 4, we went to bed around 10 and in that big hour day, all we needed was a bowl of oatmeal, our simple lunch and our simple dinner. Yes. And if you want to snack in between there are apples and bananas. And, and do, you, do you think too. you'll continue with this? I actually said um, I really want to, I, which, what food was. And the coach said something, he said um, our bodies is like 
clay yeah. uh, and the food we give it yeah. is how flexible we make it. Mm. And then, you know, exercise is how we shape it. Yes. And it really is. Um, mm. I, can't, I will do my very best to carry on. Well, thank you background. so much, Jane. No, Would you pleasure. recommend this for somebody else? One hundred percent. Grandmothers, we literally have a grandmother. I will bring my stepdaughter. I will bring everyone. Whether you think you need it or you don't, you need it. Right. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, very <laughs> nice. <laughs> and how was it for you? Uh, it was wonderful. Yes. <laughs> wonderful and uh, very, very extremely important for yes. me. Uh, not only physically mm. but emotionally as well yes. because uh, I could fit uh, my body uh, with all of these aspects yes. and it gave to me um, a tremendous yeah. <laughs> a, a, a tremendous value for uh, emotional and, and physical as well have you had any experience with gender-based violence? Mm, no, not <laughs> likely. But I've got friends. Do you know people who yes. have? Yes. Yeah. We and we can hear this. This is our quotidian. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Not only in in Africa, but all, all over the world. Exactly. Uh, but also right now in Africa, it's quite a specific pandemic that's happening now. Oh yes, yes. I think it's more fluent uh, mm -hmm. in Africa. Yeah. Uh, I think because of our cultures. Yes. Yeah. And um, how did you feel about the diet that you guys were prescribed for this trip? Uh, the diet mm -hmm. is very healthy. I I never eat such food, such mm -hmm. uh, dishes yeah. uh, without meat. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and it was it was very very good. And did it affect the training? Yes, yeah. it did reflect, especially in my, yeah, <laughs> my tummy, exactly. you know, <laughs> I wake mm -hmm. up very happy in this morning yes. because I could uh, lose, I think, one and a half kilos, I, wow. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And are you guys, I, I was told you guys woke up at five in the morning. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. five in the morning and we start exercise uh, inside in the gym and yeah. outside as well. Yes. And do you, what do you think you took from this experience, would you say? Uh, well, uh, it's, 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 it's amazing yeah. because we can, we can change uh, a lot of uh, uh, cultures, mm -hmm. experience, uh, cultural, yes. because uh, this is also, also culture. Yes, yeah. yes. And would you say that you guys have Angola compared to South Africa, for instance, what would you say about the situation of gender-based violence? Would you say that here it's a, it's a particularly worse experience or there's better? What would you say the tension is worse?
Just give me that sprinting light as well.